I know what cat when I see him. Oh, wow. This is adorable. I love it. Bray here. And I apologize for not getting any videos out last week. I was taking a bit of a mental health break. Um, I've just been dealing with a lot lately. I touched on some of that in my update vlog. So if you haven't, go ahead and go back and watch that. Um, but today I just wanted to react to something nice and chill that would make me smile, would make me happy. And what does that better than cats? So I'm going to react to some more Half Asleep Chris. Um, I found this video Extreme Cat Hide and Seek and it's a shorter one, so I'll go ahead and react to two videos. This is Ralph, and he is an expert um, in hide and seek. I don't think that's He's Ralph. So good in fact that this isn't even him. It's actually a cushion disguised as a cat when it's Ralph a cute is in fact a cat cushion. disguised as a cushion. <laughs> Sith has definitely done stuff like that before. Um you know, he's a tuxedo cat and has white on him, but sometimes he'll lay so that you can't see the white on him and he will blend into the darkness. I'll give you five seconds. <gasps> oh, okay, I found him. Did you find him? This time his eyes were a bit of a giveaway. Or were they? No, that These wasn't him. Fake eyes. And Ralph's in the exact same yeah. spot as the first image. I saw him. It took me a second. So I almost fell for it. With loads of hiding places and loads of fake eyes. Oh, 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 I found him. I found him. Leave a like if you found him. Ah, Ralph's not very good at staying still. You might have spotted his tail moving. Nope. Except that's not his tail. It's just some fluffy black fabric on invisible string. And Ralph is, you guessed it, in the same spot <laughs> yet again. I warned you he was good at this. So oh my, this is adorable. This absolute extreme. What if I cover the entire room with fluffy black fabric for the ultimate game of cat hide and seek? Oh, and he has moved now, so we know next time he probably won't be in the exact same spots. This is adorable. I love it. Let's begin with some easy ones. Okay. Find Ralph in this image. No, no, too hard, too hard. How about Bella in this one? Oh. Nope, all I see is sunflowers. Bella's behind a curtain, along with two cardboard silhouettes of her. So Ooh. Okay, this one's tough. Um, I think the middle one. Yes! On the bed are five really creepy fake cats and one real one. What? Oh, which is which? That is creepy. Um, top right. I know a cat when I see him. <laughs> This next one, I had printed possibly the coolest blanket that's ever existed. So let's Whoa. get Bella to lay on it. Oh, right. She already is. Yeah, I see her. I'll see her. Do you see her? Seriously, that's her. Using the magic of Photoshop. Oh. Five real Bellas and one fake Bella. So can you spot the imposter? Um. I think it's bottom left. All the real Bellas, please make themselves known. The imposter's yes. a cardboard cutout. I'm good at this. Next, I did try to film Ralph with ten cardboard cutouts, but he just wanted to relax on the floor with his army of minions. And besides, <laughs> the fluff was a dead giveaway. But with yeah. 20 cardboard bellas, well, I'm going to give you a whopping 15 seconds for this one. Okay. Oh, I think I spotted her. I think I, I, think I have it. Okay, this is madness, and it's making my head hurt. The real Bella is... Yes! And Ralph couldn't believe what he was seeing either. I found it so funny seeing how utterly befuddled he was. His fluffy mind was more than truly blown. <laughs> but then my mind was blown. You all look like my sister, but you are not her. Because Ralph literally spoke. I promise you this isn't faked or edited in any way. But to me, it clearly sounds like he's saying, where are you? Listen again. Yeah. Aww. He's so concerned about his sister's way yeah. and what these weird two-dimensional clones might have done to her that he's literally learned how to speak English. Which one's Bella? <laughs> oh, so many good loaves, but one loaf is superior. I'm kidding, of course. Bella's not there, just four loaves of bread. Uh, so oh, right, of course. Are you ready for this? 
15 seconds on the clock once more. And watch out for decoys, cutouts, cushions, and everything you face so far. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I ha- Did you find him? Draw Maybe. On, please. Ralph is... Is it the top right one? Or is that a decoy? Here. Yes! And here. Oh, and oh. here. Here. And here. Not to mention there. I saw that one. Here and there. Plus, I'm there dressed as a gorilla. What? <laughs> Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. Oh my. I built a gigantic fort for my cats. And, um, yes, please. Uh, I want to do something like this for my cats. But I do not have the patience for it, is the problem. So instead, I'm going to watch someone else do it. He's been yeah, it's hard. To build him a new one. Life is hard. And so I'm finally giving in, but with some conditions. Number one, the castle has got to be entirely made out of cardboard. Okay. And number two, it's got Add to a be challenge. so big that I can use it as a human fort too. Because Ooh. who doesn't love box forts? Seriously, who doesn't love box forts? I would love an adult box forts. I think that'd be awesome. Well, I found these cardboard bricks online that slot together. Sort of oh. like cardboard Lego. The trouble is, they come flat pack. And the go big or go home approach I was taking meant that I had 800 of them to assemble. Yikes! It took about 12 hours. And this is why I said I do not have the patience for something like this. <laughs> I got started right away, using the rug as an approximate footprint for the castle. Although making sure the two towers that would be on either side protruded slightly. And leaving a gap for what would be the doorway. Okay. Thanks to the bricks just Brick shell. together, I made incredibly quick progress. And before I knew it, the fort was already knee height. The doorway was a little more challenging. These bricks are really cool. Um, like, yeah, it... Probably was a pain to put together all 800 of them, but now that they're together, it makes the process go super quick the way they just slot together. That makes this a lot easier to do than I anticipated. If someone could just fold all those bricks for me, maybe I'll attempt it. I had to build above first and then fill in the gaps from below to hold it all together. Soon it got tall enough that I could only just climb over the walls. Ooh. It was time to test out the doorway. A little snug, but... Oh! I made it! It now occurred to me that I should probably include a window on either side. I made mm, this yeah, lip windows are good. ...facing bricks and doubled them up underneath. Are you gonna put anything inside for the kitties? Perfect brick pattern. It was a really sturdy windowsill, and I've done the same on the other side. Before I could continue though, my project managers decided to check on my progress. Of course. Bella was first and seemed less than impressed, preferring to sit under the Christmas tree instead. Mm. Some trees tempted her inside, but only briefly. Ralph, however, was much more approving, gladly hoovering up the treats Bella had left behind. <laughs> I sat down for a minute or two, inspecting my building work, before what joining do you think, Bella Ralph? back on the bed. And so I wasted no time getting to work on the rest of the castle. Oh, wow. This is me stood on my tiptoes, so it's actually slightly <laughs> taller than me. And then each tower, well, they're quite a lot taller than me. Wow, this is insane. I can't even fit it all in one shot. That's huge. Yeah. Obviously, I know this is the size of my living room, but this is the first time I'm really getting that realisation. So after using up all the regular size bricks, next I use the single bricks to create battlements. That little square pattern of course. found at the top Gotta of the Gotta have tiles. that. This is it, the very final brick. Done. And then it was finished, structurally at least. In the morning, I decorated it with flags and banners and all that wonderful stuff. Ooh. But for now, I needed some sleep. I set up some motion sensored night vision cameras to see if either of the cats were brave enough to explore overnight. So. Oh. Ralph is first to enter, noticing one of the cameras straight away. <laughs> I am a star! Although she doesn't enter the castle, the camera cuts out, but when it's triggered again, you can just make out her tail sneaking away to steal Ralph's food. <laughs> a few minutes later, she returns and has a little sit, completely ignoring the castle once more. Before Bella is so upstairs. unimpressed Ralph by the castle. Ralph spends most of the night in the castle. He doesn't sleep, but spends the time bathing, scratching it, 
I'm of water, course. The cameras are over and over of again. That seems about right. Yeah, um, the scratching it though. So obviously cats love cardboard boxes. They love to lay in them. Mine are no exception, but they also like to eat them. So we'll like give them a cardboard box after we get a package or whatever. And it's like, okay, you can have this to play net for a little bit. But once you start eating it and tearing it apart, we're taking it away from you. So I'm, I'd be a little scared if they would try to eat the forts. Like, obviously, I know it would not be as easy to eat as a cardboard box, but this corner here, Sith would be gnawing on it. I can guarantee it. At one point, he even gets hyper and pounces on something. Just look at that Ooh, butt wiggle. Butt wiggle! Here it is from the other angle. I love a good butt and wiggle. He's hyper, which is bad news for Bella, who's hungry again. <laughs> Attack! He pounces, and she retreats upstairs. And then soon I can be seen wiggling through the door oh, in my pajamas to turn off the cameras. So Ralph seems to like the castle, but Bella's completely disinterested. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll warm to it if I make a flag with her face on. Aww. I made a banner for either side out of card, and cut out to paper Ralph and paper Bella to stick on each one, as well as their names in a medieval looking Oh, font. that's so cool! Castle, ask for your suggestions on my community tab, and then put the most popular ones in a poll. And by far the winner, suggested by Arjun Armin, was the royal feline residence of Raphael and Isabella. Very nice. Now that's a few too many paper letters for me to cut out, so I'm <laughs> going to combine the two. I cut out Boxingham Palace in the same medieval font as the banners, but cheated and used stickers for the rest of it. Ah, was a few very nice. To the interior. I'd always wanted to put Ralph Shaylonge in his old castle, but it just wasn't big enough. Oh, that's so that was no longer adorable! A problem, giant of a new one. I just had to try and squeeze it through the doorway. If it's... Oh, that goes perfect I added in there. A silver platter as a food tray fit for royalty. And as a finishing touch, I added an art print, which is available at halfasleepchris.com. It was time to formally open Boxing Oh Palace. my. May I cordially introduce you to Her Majesty, the Queen of Boxinghamshire. <gasps> I was surprised to see Bella! that Bella absolutely loved the castle, probably because the Shay Lounge was in there. And then His Majesty, the King of Boxinghamshire, decided to make an appearance too. He was once again inspecting the quality of my work, and judging by the way he rubbed his face on it, I'd say he oh, was Oh yes! Need to sense is and his... he soon discovered how fun it could be to jump out the window. Oh! Then followed suit out of the other window, whilst yeah. Ralph jumped back in and had a bit more of an explore. <laughs> once again leaving through the window. Oh then yeah, that'd be so much fun for cats. A door. Bella eventually found the food and had a royal-sized feast, whilst Ralph posed regally as though he was getting his portrait taken. Now, oh. I know what you're probably thinking. What if we ever come under attack from enemy cats who wish to claim Boxingham Palace as their own? Great question. Got that I was wondering. Very own cardboard <laughs> On second thoughts, maybe don't attack us, please. But the one who enjoyed the castle most of all was undoubtedly me. I mean, I got to live out every child's dream and turn their living room yeah. into the ultimate box fort. And I guess the fact that the cats liked it too was just an added bonus. But it's really sad because that was like in his living room, so obviously he's not going to be able to keep it there, so he's going to have to take it down. And it's so awesome! Like, that, you need a spare room just for the cat castle and keep it up always. I love it. I love these videos so much. His kitties are adorable. I love his creativity and how he always goes all out. It's so much fun to react to. Do you have any cats? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community because you are ineffable. <laughs>